Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Yong Rui, Senior Vice President and Corporate CTO of Lenovo. It is a privilege to present our Lenovo Advanced Production Scheduling System, LAPS in short, to you today. Before we dive deep into the project, I would like to show you a short video about Lenovo, which will set the stage for the project. Lenovo is a Fortune 500 company with over 50 billion US dollars in annual revenue and 63,000 employees, operating in more than 180 markets around the world. Committed to the vision of smarter technology for all, Lenovo develops a wide variety of high-tech products, including PCs, smartphones, data centers, and related solutions and services. A company with expanding global footprint, Lenovo practices global sourcing and local delivery, operates a highly efficient, intelligent, and resilient global supply chain network, and provides smart services that respond to the needs of global customers promptly. We believe in the power of technology, focusing on AI, 5G, cloud and edge computing, AR, VR, blockchain, as well as next generation device innovation. We built these technologies into our products, services, and solutions, empowering diverse industries, including education, healthcare, retail, manufacturing, etc. We're Lenovo. As mentioned in the video, Lenovo is a global leader in PCs, smartphones, data centers, and their related solutions and services, serving customers worldwide. Lenovo operates more than 30 in-house factories in eight countries and regions, where more than 75 million laptops are manufactured every year. This accounts for approximately a quarter of the global output. So it's natural that manufacturing is near and dear to Lenovo. As the world enters into the intelligence era, Lenovo is transforming its traditional manufacturing into smart manufacturing with cutting-edge technologies. One of the areas that Lenovo focuses on is smart production scheduling. Our largest manufacturing plant is LCFC, where more than half of Lenovo's and over one-eighth of world's PCs are produced. It was at LCFC that LAPS was first developed and deployed. So what is production scheduling? It is a process in manufacturing where all production activities are planned or scheduled on a time scale or for a time period. The degree of its efficiency will drastically affect manufacturing productivity and customer satisfaction. And as a result, it has a big impact on a company's competitive edge. How complex is production scheduling? At LCFC, there are four plants with 43 assembly lines. Every day, there are thousands of production orders coming in from around the world. These orders lead to hundreds of production tasks, each of which can be executed on a portion of the total production line set. And for each production line, there are a number of slots available for the production tasks. To have a better understanding of the complexity and magnitude of production scheduling, we can think about it this way. Choosing a production line slot for a production task is similar to choosing a move in chess or go. I won't go into the details 
about game tree complexity analysis. But as shown in the animation, the number of atoms in the universe is 10 to the power of 80. But the complexities of chess, our LAPS, and Go are all greater than the number of atoms in the universe. In the past, in a factory, this challenging job of production scheduling was often done by experienced workers and took them hours to come up with a reasonable solution. And many times, these solutions are just reasonable, far from effective or efficient. To address these problems, the Lenovo research team and LCFC jointly have developed the LAPS by using operations research, deep learning, and reinforcement learning technologies. After the system was put into operation, the time needed for generating production schedules has been drastically decreased from hours to minutes. PC production volume has been up by 23%, while backlogs down 20%. In 2019 and 2020, the system contributed 1.91 billion and 2.69 billion to LCFC's annual revenue, respectively. This is the context of Lenovo's Advanced Production Scheduling System, LAPS. Next, my colleagues and I will present the system in detail, covering problems and challenges, Lenovo solutions, project deployment at LCFC, transferability, and benefits and impacts. Hi, I'm Wei Fan, Machine Learning Director at Lenovo Research. Every day in LCFC, more than 5,000 orders are waiting for production in its 43 assembly lines. That corresponds to 80,000 laptops. Such a large-scale scheduling problem is a big challenge. Let's watch a short video to get a feel for the problem. First, the production process is full of uncertainty. It comes from the variation in raw materials and demand, market dynamics, and reliance on upstream suppliers mean that the quantity and quality of raw materials and demand can fluctuate a lot. The planners need to plan for many eventualities and respond easily to the shop floor's latest situation. Available production lines, production capacity, equipment status, and even labor attendance. The fast response time is a fundamental guarantee for effective scheduling and rescheduling. Secondly, the production process is full of complexity. A mixture of correlated impact factors can result in complex planning and scheduling requirements, often contradicting goals for different business scenarios, such as order fulfillment versus production efficiency. If we want to leverage the total manufacturing capacity, customer orders with similar laptop models should combine to reduce the production line change over time. This is quite different if we are going to prioritize urgent orders with a high risk of delay. So what do our planners want? It should be a flexible, multi-objective decision engine that comprehensively optimizes all KPIs with what-if simulation and interactive parameter configuration. In the past, LCFC used a handcrafted, rule-based method for production scheduling. It heavily relies on manual work to prioritize different contradicting rules to cope with the fluctuating production environments. We also investigated some conventional solutions and found at least three problems. First, production scheduling in LCFC is a large-scale problem. 
the state-of-the-art commercial optimization solver's performance will significantly diminish if the calculation is required to terminate within a few minutes. Secondly, even we incorporate heuristics in solver-based solutions to accelerate, the cost of design and maintenance are still enormous, and it is not easy to transfer to new scenarios. Finally, achieving multi-objective optimization requires more extensive calculations, which further limits their ability to respond quickly. Considering these practical challenges, our research team proposed an innovative method the Novo Advanced Production Scheduling, LAPS, incorporating machine learning into solving the scheduling problem. The new solution learns the optimal scheduling policy from diverse and changing manufacturing data, while not relying on explicitly defined rules. The LAPS generates a production schedule at the vast scale of LCFC within minutes. This approach can well generalize to tackle different inputs and scenarios, and it can continuously evolve through iterative human-machine collaboration. Here is the workflow. We start with loading data, such as manufacturing orders, production capacity, and line parameters. We then fed them into the machine learning optimizer with production constraints and objective preferences to generate an optimized schedule. A single run will deal with more than 1 billion variables, over 5 billion constraints, while completing in about two minutes. Planners can review and adjust the scheduling results by comparing the KPIs through a what-if simulator. The final schedule needs approval by the senior planning management. Now I invite my colleague Yi Liang to talk about the detail of our APS solution. Hello, my name is Yi Liang. I'm a data scientist and a senior researcher responsible for developing analytics that support our production management. Our LAPS solution is based on reinforcement learning. Before going into the algorithm's details, let's go back to the case of playing the game of Go. We know that for a problem as complex as Go, it is impractical to exhaust and compare all the possibilities of a game, even for the most powerful computer. Decision-making algorithms based on search method fail to outperform human experts. Through years of training, professional Go players gained intuition for how to deal with various situations on the Go board. The judgment intuition based on the accumulated experience turns out to be more efficient and reliable. Similar to human player, reinforcement learning algorithms like AlphaGo obtain gaming strategies through cumulatively learning from extensive gaming experiences. Moreover, through interacting with massive number of problem instances, the algorithm can obtain judgment beyond human players, just like playing jigsaw puzzles, Tetris, or Go. The production scheduling process can also be seen as putting a series of elements one by one into the right place. In fact, if a problem can be regarded as or transformed into a sequential decision problem, reinforcement learning can help us obtain the optimized decision-making process. Rather than learning the solution, the algorithm is learning the heuristic which used to be designed by human. We view production scheduling as a sequence-to-sequence decision-making process and construct the corresponding reinforcement learning model. The input of the model is the sequence of manufacturing orders and the production lines that will process these orders. The output of the model, the sequence which tells us the operator and in which sequence these orders will be produced. The model is composed of a policy network and a value network. The policy network is responsible for making decisions to put each order into the output sequence, while the value network will review other decisions and reinforce the good ones. 
After proper training, the policy network acts as a scheduling agent. It can deal with a rapidly changing production environment and can generate the scheduling results for tens of thousands of manufacturing orders in a few minutes. Building a machine learning optimizer can be tricky. There are two major challenges. The first is a huge number of variables and constraint conditions, which make it very difficult to identify feasible solutions within an acceptable time frame. The second is reaching the optimal balance of business targets such as production volume, manufacturing cost, and customer fulfillment rate. We introduced innovative techniques and architecture to address these obstacles. As Dr. Ray mentioned earlier, the scheduling problem has a high degree of complexity. However, in the actual production process, there are many constraints to be followed. These constraints make most part of the solution space infeasible. The deep neural network model itself cannot guarantee the feasibility of its output. If we do not limit the solution space, the algorithm will spend most of its time searching for the policy in the invisible part of the solution space. To address this challenge, we designed a novel mask mechanism. At each step of the model output, a series of three-dimensional matrices are constructed, each of which corresponds to a constraint condition. These matrices are combined to generate a total mask tensor. Each element of this tensor indicates whether a manufacturing order can be placed in a specified position on a particular production line. Every time the model completes a round of calculation, the mask tensor is updated. Thanks to the parallel tensor calculation, the mask can be constructed quickly, which effectively reduces the solution space to be interacted with and vastly speeds up the learning process. Finding the optimal balance between competing objectives is challenging. By introducing a novel architecture for training a single policy network optimized over the entire objective preference space, we obtain a model that can grasp the scheduling policy for any user-specified preference. First, we sample uniformly in the preference space, and the weights obtained are combined with the production instance to form training samples. Then, our sequence-to-sequence -sequence optimization model starts from these training samples, accumulates production scheduling experience through sequential interactions, and learns scheduling policies accordingly. In the implementation stage, the model will generate an efficient frontier that tracks the best trade-off between pairs of objectives through parallel competing. Through the application of this solution, we achieve a substantial increase in revenue. The example shown here tells us that the algorithm achieves an incremental revenue of 2.3 billion US dollars per year by optimizing the production volume of PC at LCFC. The graph demonstrates how balance is reached between efficiency and cost for one shift of production. The x-axis is production volume per shift. The y-axis is change over cost. The points on the graph represent candidate schedules with different values of production volume or cost. The black dot is an engineering baseline generated by the legacy solution. And as you can see, the system highlights an efficient frontier and recommends the Green Star solution. Compared to the baseline schedule, the production volume of this solution has been greatly improved, with a slight growth in changeover cost, resulting in a revenue increase of 3.4 million US dollars. Driven by this ability, the senior management of the factory has realized a paradigm shift. That is, they can make strategic decisions in the efficient frontier according to the changes in the market supply and the demand conditions. When orders exceed supply and the production capacity is insufficient, management can choose to stay on the right of the frontier and shift more to the left of the frontier when supply is sufficient and the cost becomes sensitive. This is just one example of how algorithms balance a pair of competing objectives. Users can also choose other solutions in the efficient frontier according to their preferences. 
there are many objectives optimized simultaneously by the algorithm, and for each pair of them, our solution offers a similar interactive function for the human experts to make the final decision. Now that we have developed the LAPS system to solve the production scheduling problem at LCFC, the next step was to implement it in the factory. So I will give this to Chun, who will describe how LAPS works in the factory. Hi, my name is Chun Yang. I am the Chief Strategy and Transformation Officer for LCFC. The Lenovo Advanced Production Scheduling Project was initialized at LCFC in 2018, and the implementation can be divided into two phases. In the first stage, we completed the solution development and validation and roll out the solution to cover all the plans in LCFC by the end of 2018. After the solution went live, we spent several months to undergo close tracking by comparison with the legacy system running in the parallel. From 2020, we moved into the second phase and further upgraded the solution to enable multi-objective optimization and real-time rescheduling functions. These two new functions provided more visibility and flexibility to our planning team and enabled more agile manufacturing for the LCFC. Through the frequent online discussions and many on-site meetings, our planners conveyed their business know-how to the research team. And in return, the research team conceptualized the whole process from the OR perspective. They identified the critical constraints and aligned that information with the planning team to minimize the misunderstanding. Planners were acquainted with the legacy principle scheduling approach, which are very deferred significantly from the new OR solution. Given the big change to both methodology and the workflow, it is not hard to imagine that most planners were skeptical of the new solution at first. To gain their acceptance, the new solution was validated back to back by comparing it with the legacy system running in the parallel for the whole 2019. We also develop an intuitive dashboard to show the simulated KPI for the new and the legacy solutions. The Lenovo user experience team also help a lot by digging out concerns from the planning team through intensive user surveys. I think an encouraging improvements result from the new solution, the clear visibility and a quick reaction at the three key areas to get users' acceptance. The transition to the new solution at FCFC was not an easy undertaking. It was just like changing the wheels on the moving car. Our leadership also put considerable effort in pushing the LAPS implementation forward. And now we are much more confident in embracing the transformations driven by our techniques. Since 2012, I've been working with our planning team and making detailed production schedule for thousands of orders every day. In the past, we did this manually by processing spreadsheets with predefined rules, combining years of experience to determine the priority of orders and production lines. This was time-consuming, especially given the fluctuating material supplies and production capacity. Production scheduling involves many upstream and downstream departments. From different perspectives, it was difficult for all stakeholders to get aligned. This even brought more complexity to the production scheduling problem. At the same time, it was also hard to planners to keep the production scheduling consistent with our business focus. We had to spend a lot of time in selecting various options of schedules. Since 2018, I have participated in the validation and deployment of LAPS at LCFC. LAPS is brand new and data-driven. Unlike human planners, LAPS does not require a long period of training. It only took LAPS system two weeks to ramp up. At the very beginning, like most planners, I was quite skeptical about how could complex production schedule be made by computers. 
However, during validation, I noticed that LAPS responded much faster and significantly improved production efficiency. The interactive user interface allows me to stimulate and adjust various production schedules at will. Problems such as urgent orders and rescheduling that troubled us before now can be tackled with a few clicks. After LAPS officially went live, my way of working has fundamentally changed. No more painful disputes and discussions on how to assign priorities. A lot of tedious work on data processing are also eliminated. We can focus more on business indicators on the highest priority, workflow optimization, and other strategic problems. Now, all stakeholders are relying on LPS dashboard, and I always use that to show them the impacts of various strategies. It is much easier to get all aligned on the consistent decision. LAPS already covers all shop floors at LCFC. The fast simulation helps us to compare various strategies in just a few minutes. LAPS has brought me a brand new experience and also fundamentally transformed the way we work. Hi, my name is Jesse Bai. I'm the Chief Procurement Officer at LCFC and the leader of LCFC planning team. I'm glad to share our experience about how the LAPS profoundly changed our production scheduling at LCFC. In 2019, the LAPS project went live, and the new solution demonstrated a faster and better scheduling ability. For a single run, the LAPS generates a production schedule within a few minutes which is much faster than the hours of calculation required by the legacy solution. The fast scheduling also provides sufficient agility for planners to adjust and reschedule. By incorporating the LAPS into our production scheduling, our planners are significantly freed up and available for other valuable tasks. Besides the improvement in speed, the LAPS outperformed the legacy solution on all KPS in terms of production volume, the number of orders, and the customer fulfillment. Now, our planners are experiencing the convenience and the effectiveness of the new solution in each round of scheduling. Every day, our team has realized and enjoyed these great changes by implementing operations research technology. Hi, I am Samira Del Valle Barbosa, Software Solutions and Continuous Improvement Manager, Plan Management at Lenovo Mexico Monterrey Plan. After LCFC deployed LLPS and showcased their impressive improvements, our Mexico Monterey plan has been very interesting in the potential benefits that these kind of projects can bring to a new site. After consult with the LLPS project team, we are very glad to find that this kind of solution is really seamlessly transferred to our factory to optimize production scheduling. More than that, we are also impressed with the efficiency and the convenience of the LLPS because these kind of projects include innovative techniques. The solution is effective and generic enough to support up and downstream the production scheduling, including material resource planning before production and routing optimization for customer delivery. In Monterey Plan, we value transferability very much since we have so many manufacturing scenarios to cover and a transferable solution like this one can give us much more confidence in the consistency of management principles. Currently, we are starting a cooperation with Lenovo AI team and we are very excited to see the future of our streamlined workflow with LLPS in Mexico and in other Lenovo factories. Now that my colleagues have made a detailed description about LAPS and its deployment at LCFC, let's move on to the next and very important section. What are the impacts 
and benefits the system has brought to Lenovo. In fact, the impacts it has had on LCFC and Lenovo are profound and multi-layered, from business performance to financial results and to environmental protection. Hi, I'm Peng Bai, CEO of LCFC. The Lenovo Advanced Production Scheduling Project, LAPS, have solved long-standing pain points at LCFC, provided a revolutionary production scheduling method through operations research, lift overall production efficiency, and transfer the management paradigm. The system has been continuously serving every product from LCFC. The LAPS product has helped LCFC to be smarter and more agile, and brought billions of dollars in financial benefits each year. During the past year, facing an expected global pandemic, Lenovo has endured a highly volatile supply chain, including a shortage of material, workers, and logistics. Meanwhile, we received a record high number of custom orders and an expanding work from home, learn from home environment. As the largest manufacturing plant at Lenovo, RCFC overcame unthinkable challenges and reached the highest production in its history. This also allowed Lenovo to enlarge its PC market share and sustaining our leadership positioning globally. We are amazed by the dramatic benefits that LAPS has brought to LCFC and Lenovo. We are encouraged to see that this smart solution, as well as OR technology inside, will serve more and more manufacturing sites in Lenovo. Now, I'm delighted to welcome Annie to showcase the financial benefits of this solution. Thank you. Hi, I'm Annie Sun, Vice President, CFO of Lenovo China. I'm excited to show you the financial impact brought by LAPS project. The LAPS solution has been deployed for PC product at LCFC since 2019. To examine the improvement, we have compared the LAPS to the legacy approach side by side for one year. We have achieved multiple improvements. PC production was increased by 23% and the number of backlog orders was reduced by 20%. To calculate the financial benefits, we used a conservative method that only included direct increase of the production. Those improvements translate into a revenue increase of more than 18%. The total PC production revenue of LCFC in 2019 and 2020 were over 10 billion and $14 billion, respectively. Among this revenue, the contribution of LAPS was $4.6 billion for two years. In terms of pre-tax income, the total contribution was $280 million. In summary, the LAPS helps Lenovo to bring in $2 billion US dollar incremental revenue and $140 million incremental net profit annually. With iteration of the project, we are confident that the LAPS will keep boosting our profitability in the future. I'm Laura Patella, Senior Vice President and Chief Legal Officer of Lenovo. I'm proud to share with you a highlight about the environmental benefits of the Lenovo Advanced Production Scheduling Solution, which is helping Lenovo reduce our energy use and carbon emissions. On top of the financial and serviceability benefits provided by this technology, the solution has already helped Lenovo save over 2,600 megawatt hours of electricity annually at the current production volume, compared with the previous scheduling approach by improving production efficiency and reducing idle time on production lines. This contributes to a greenhouse gas emissions reduction equal to over 1,600 tons of carbon dioxide per year, 
which is equivalent to the emission of 4.7 million passenger cars. This project is a great example of how smarter manufacturing can reduce our climate impact and help build a greener Lenovo. Hello, everyone. I'm Yuan Qingyang, Chairman and CEO of Lenovo. My colleagues have just made a detailed introduction to our production scheduling system, which I'm very proud of. Just as my colleagues mentioned, the system is playing a vital role at LCFC, Lenovo's largest manufacturing facility. It has dramatically streamlined the production process, boosted productivity, optimized resource utilization, improved revenue to LCFC, and helped protect the environment. The efficient scientific management is one of the keys to ensure our business growth and success at Lenovo. The production scheduling system has significantly improved Lenovo's management and operations of its massive manufacturing facilities, enhanced Lenovo's business competitive edge, and contributed to Lenovo's intelligent transformation. Innovative technology creates business value. That's what I have always believed in. Thank you. Thanks to our chairman and CEO Yuan Qing and all the presenters. I also would like to thank the Franz Edelman Awards Committee for giving us the opportunity to share our story. Now we're ready to take questions. Thank you all.